Good morning. This is Reverend Pam Gagan from the Center for Spiritual Living Pleasant Valley in Camarillo, California. Uh, welcome to our uh, Wednesday morning meditation. And I chose this meditation because I was just in Portland, Oregon, and I was uh, given the gift of this book and it's called Return to You. And so, uh, and it's about spiritual lessons uh, for living an unshakable inner peace by Shannon Kaiser. And I happen to know this woman too, and her mom. So this is the book and we're going to do uh, meditations uh, and I'll just be, uh, tell you only the brief part of a story. Uh, I was in Portland because my uh, closest friend um, Jenny Sinclair and her uh, husband, who I'm also very, very close to, I've known for years and years and years, 45 years, as a matter of fact, and talk about divine appointments. I met uh, him and her when I worked briefly at a, a radio station, KVNK, and he was just beginning to build the K Hay Country Station. And uh, I walked in and the very first day he went home and he told his wife, Jenny, I just met your new best friend. And so knowing uh, that intuitive side of both of them, we've uh, created a spiritual, uh, on every level, a relationship for 45 years. And what was, uh, right now he's in his um, transition going to his new address, as I say, in the heaven world. And so I'm going to be doing a service when that time comes, when the right time is. And he wanted to spend time with me to, uh, he, to, he wanted people to know who he was, who he really was. And even though I know him very well, it was one of the most magical times I spent, one of the most um, uh, connecting times, spiritual connecting times I've spent in years with anyone. And what was so interesting is just when he came to Kehe Country Radio Station, which he built to the number one radio station, not only in Ventura County, but beyond, uh, he'd come from a rock station and uh, he had just started religious science. And that's what Centers for Spiritual Living are, uh, religious science, which is uh, combining, it is the, the religion and philosophy and science and everything in its oneness, all wrapped up and honoring all faiths with that fine thread of love that connects all religions. So he had just started religious science. He was so smitten, he told me with the um, minister at the time, it was Dr. Chuck Sanzas in Ventura, uh, and he was so smitten with him that he wanted to become a minister. And he, he, and even Chuck Sanza said, you are ministerial quality, let's get you in ministerial. And he thought it, about it for a long time, and he decided that he could inspire 50 people every week in person, or he could use all of the spiritual tools offered to him and reach thousands every week. So without anybody knowing it, throughout all his k -Hay career here in Ventura County and beyond, he used spiritual tools and spiritual uh, wisdom uh, to connect people to their inner source. So now I'm going to do uh, an exercise, a meditation exercise, because how do we connect? We connect in the quiet. So we're going to now meditate uh, into finding who you are, connecting to that inner peace within by doing a visualization and a quiet meditation, being empty and open to just listening to the greater uh, who you are within, the greater, the greater whatever you want to call it, God, Buddha, Jesus, Krishna, the thing itself, but the greater wisdom uh, within the higher self, that I call it also. So I just want you to relax in your chairs. Just relax.
And close your eyes, you're comfortable, or in your beds, wherever you are. And just breathing in to that space. Just feeling that energy from the top to the bottom, filling your body with a God is. Just making that space coming all the way down from the crown chakra, all the way down, 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 to the neck, the shoulders, the head, the heart, the back, wrapping around. Filling the body with an I am, for there is only the one, the one, the one. Feel the body relaxing. As the energy flows through the body all the way down, opening all the chakras. Going all the way down, 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 and down into the middle earth. And the middle earth can look like whatever you want down from the bottom of your feet. Connecting you. See it as I see it as a light, a wafting light of energy with all the colors, all the colors of the rainbow, all the colors of the chakra, chakras, and wrapping around a tree trunk, grounding us, for we are here to experience the body, mind, soul, the body of God as us, our incorruptible soul. that is immortal, that came to experience earth. For this is the earth school, the emotional school, connecting us with love from the heart, from above. And so mind, body, soul all connected. And then two more breaths in Feeling that energy just coming all the way back up, surrounding us, east to west, north to south, top to bottom, left to right. With an in-breath, with a God is on the in-breath, I am on the out-breath. And one more breath. And wherever you are, whether you're lying in your bed or, or sitting in the chair, just feel your body heavy, 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 and empty. No agenda. Time just to connect with the peace and love of the divine within you. It is always there waiting for you to open up to it. Now I want you to picture yourself at the bottom of five stairs. And those five stairs there's a landing above on those five stairs. I want you to be who you are right now. You can see yourself with your clothes on, with your clothes off, whatever it is. I want you to look up at the top of those stairs And there is your light being in all of its radiance, all of its glory. And it can look like whatever you want. It can look like an angel. It can look like you. 
but I want you to look deep into the eyes of that being, deep into the soul of that being. And now I want you to become that being just magically as you walk up the stairs, just morphing into that angelic being. One, two, three, keeping your gaze fixed on the radiant you of that angelic being. Three, four, five, now you are immersed with that power, that presence, that pureness, that light, that brilliance. And now as you turn to your right, you cross this landing with just a few steps. And there are door or doors or a door ahead. And you open that door. And you walk in and there's a wooden table there with wooden chairs around it. And there are guides there, angel guides. It could be people on earth wanting to give you a message or people from the heaven world who guide and protect you all the time <coughs> and there may be no one there just the wooden table or there may be only one person there And I invite you to sit down. Pull a chair up for they are waiting for you or you are waiting for you right there. You are empty. You didn't come to ask questions. You didn't come to ask details. You came to find out what gifts they bring to you for they have been waiting for a long time to share their wisdom with you. And you sit down. You may even ask their names. There may be someone there you don't even know. Ask their name. And then ask without an agenda or be open to listening. Just be open and empty to listening to why they have chosen to show up at this prescient time. To be with you, to give you your, their love, to give you their wisdom. And relax in knowing 
but they came in peace, they came in love. We are so excited. And again, there may be more than one. Now just as we breathe, just naturally, just listen. Maybe there's no message. Maybe the message is, is just be at peace with your breath. And when questions come up from you, go back to being just empty, be empty and open to just listening. <laughs> Just listen.
and knowing that you can come back to this room anytime you wish, this experience anytime you wish, to be immersed in the love and the wisdom of the divine spirit within and without. Gently you leave the table, giving great thanks for anything that was revealed. By angels, by the wisdom that just flowed through you, by the peace that resides within you. We give great gratitude. We slide the chair out. You walk towards the door, the few steps. Open the door, one last glimpse as you turn to the room, taking the energy from that room and embodying it at the deepest part of your soul, breathing it in. You open the door, walk across the foyer part, the little platform, turn to your right, and your angelic body now walks down the stairs into the earthly body, the soul of who you are, walking down, one, Two, three, getting closer to the bottom. Four, five, fully immersed in your body. Still feeling empty in the weight of the chair. But opening your eyes and becoming ready for the day. Excited, peaceful, on fire. and open and receptive to experience divine spirit unknown to you up until this moment. Now fully back in your chair, hearing my voice, feeling the weight in the chair, hearing the music, and when ready, open your eyes with a Namaste, peace out. I'll see you um, this Thursday night on the Uplift. No, I won't. I will not see you this Thursday night on the Uplift. I'm so sorry. Uh, maybe I am. I'm, I think I'm on the Uplift too, the Thursday night Uplift. <laughs> and I will see you Sunday with Lisa Coffey for East Meets West with, again, a nut more about a return to you. And then also... Um, with Kristen Gephardt, who is uh, now, um, uh, we're talking about merging the two centers in Camarillo. So hold the high watch, please, for all of that. Love each and every one. God is the only thing there is, and so it is. Have a bliss, blessed day. See you Thursday night. Mwah!